Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm showing now, how to install Android Studio on Windows 10. Before doing this, Java must be installed on the computer. If you install Java already, avoid Java installation. Let's do this first, open web browser and open website oracle.com slash java, otherwise you can search JDK on Google. Scroll down and there is one download square box there Java SE 14, when I do this the current version is Java 14. Click on Java SE 14 available. Then click on JDK download. Scroll down and search Java Windows version download links under the Java SE development kit 14. There is available two links one is exe file and other one zip file. You can download whatever you like, I select the exe file. Tick this license agreement and download it. Download is now started. After download double click on that exe file. If you receive user account control message click on yes. Now started the installation wizard click on next. Now showing the path of JDK will be installed. If you need to change path click on change button and you can change it. Now I am leaving this default path. Installing now, wait until finish it. Then close that window. Now we need to set environment variable too. Right click on my PC. Select properties. Click the advanced system settings link into the left panel. Then click on environment variable into the advanced tab. You can reach here to another way. Go to search bar find environment variable, click on edit environment variable. Then click environment variable. There are two variable there user level and system level. User level affected with correct user only. Now I selected to add system variable. Click on new under the system variable. Enter variable name java underscore home. Variable value need to browse java installed folder. Better go to installed folder and copy link, then paste here. Open C drive, then open program files, java folder then open jdk folder. Go to the address bar select path, then right click and copy it. Back to environment variable then paste it. One more thing to do here. Click on variable name path. Edit it. Go to same java folder, the open bin folder. Copy folder path. Click on new, then paste it. Close window. It will not take effect until restart. Restart your PC. After restart I want to see if Java is working. Go to command prompt. Find CMD on search bar, then click on command prompt. 
Enter command Java minus version. Now it's showing Java version. Now let's start installing Android Studio. I need to download setup file from internet. Before installing Android Studio check your system minimum requirement. Windows 7, 8, or 10. 4 GB RAM and 2 GB disk space. Open again web browser, just Google Android Studio. Select link with developer.android.com. Then click on download Android Studio. Read agreement terms and conditions. Tick on it, then click on download Android Studio. Now downloading 756 megabytes file. After that double click on downloaded file. If you receive user account control message click on yes. After open windows there already select Android Studio and virtual device, click next. Install location, if you need to change, change it, again next. Then click on install. Leave the check start Android Studio. Then finish. Now opening Android Studio. If you have old configuration folder select first radio button. Otherwise select second radio button. Data sharing window click on don't send. Development environment settings wizard opening now, click next. There is two options standard and custom, custom option you can customize it. Standard option, Android Studio will be installed most common settings. Select standard. Then next. Two themes available light and darkula, select what you like. Then next. Now system need to download some components. Click on finish. Now started downloading components. Click on show details, you can see the download status. It takes a lot of time, and I've added 20 times the speed of the video. Be patient.
Now showing some error messages here. HAXM installation failed, this is the problem of the virtual machine, never mind, we can fix it later. Click on finish. Click on start new Android Studio project. Select project template, all kind of Android devices templates available here. Enter the name of application. Select language. Select minimum SDK, then finish. Now loading new project. Right bottom corner some update notification. If you need to update click on install otherwise close it. Now started to downloading Gradle. It will take long, I increased 20 times the speed of the video. If you receive Windows Security Alert, click on Allow Access. Two process is running. Wait until finish this. Now showing waiting for build to finish. Synchronization finished. All project files here in left panel. We can try to run this project. Now showing this message, error running app no target device found, so we need to add virtual device. Click on this drop down list, the select open AVD manager. Click on create virtual device. Next showing select hardware window. There is showing many virtual devices. Select any device then next. This window showing system image, select Android version what you want, click on download. Now terms and conditions. Select accept radio button then click next. Download started now. This is more than 1 GB, wait until download finished.
In my case it took more than 20 minutes to download. Select the one you downloaded, then click on next. Next window, you can see the selected virtual device and Android, click on finish. Now your virtual device is ready. Now I am trying to start this device. Click on OK. Leave recommended RAM, click on Next. If you receive user control message, click on Yes. Coming same error message on my system, HAXM installation failed. I need to restart my system, which is why it was waiting until the setup was completed to fix this error. Now I am starting to fix this error, if you don't have this problem skip the steps. Click on search bar, find Windows features, then click on turn Windows features on or off. Find virtual machine platform then tick on it tick Windows Hypervisor platform also. If you don't see this find Hyper-V, then tick on it. Click on OK. Now applying this changes. After that close all windows, then restart your PC. Open Android Studio. Then try to start virtual device, you can see the virtual device on drop down list, click on play button. Now working. Installation successfully completed. Thanks for watching my videos, if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more.